hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss regarding how to control the order of tracking values in odoo so currently in the screen you are seeing odoo version 15 community edition where we are continuing our odoo 15 development tutorial so the point that i am talking is about if i open an existing appointment from the database here you can see we have added the chatter for the form view and here you can see the tracking values is getting listed in the chatter. So currently the order is patient first, then booking date, doctor and duration. So if there is some case where we have to control, maybe duration has to come first or booking date has to come first or any other field so let's see how we can control the order of the tracking values in Odoo so in one of our previous video we have successfully learned how to enable the tracking for a field by just adding tracking equal to true along with the field definition so if I go to the pie charm here we have the custom add-ons folder where we have added OM hospital module and if I take appointment dot py file here you can see this is the file where I have defined the appointment class and here we have the different fields with tracking equal to true so if I search for tracking equal to true you can see for name field patient ID booking date and doctor ID then you have state field and duration so this much field is having tracking enabled and if I edit an existing record so I'll just refresh the screen and if I edit this draft appointment, so I'll change the patient to pineapple and I'll change the doctor to Joel Wills. Also, I'll change the booking day to May 1st. Similarly, I'll change the duration to 4. So I have changed patient, doctor, booking date and duration. And if I click on save and if you check the log, here you can see the duration has been changed from 3 to 4 doctor has been changed from mark demo to joel bills booking date has been changed and patient id is changed so let's imagine we have to get the patient id as the first value always that is whenever we change the patient id has to be tracked first followed by booking date and then doctor or duration so let's see how we can achieve that so in order to do that what you have to do is that instead of specifying tracking equal to true you have to give an integer value suppose if the patient id has to come first i'll give tracking equal to one instead of tracking equal to true so lowest the priority the field will be appearing first so here i have given tracking equal to one then assume that uh, what i can say then state has to come second i'll put tracking equal to true tracking equal to 2 then if it then next if it has to come doctor i'll give 10 any value you can give in incremental order like if there is some missing value no problem just lower the tracking it will be coming at the first so here i have given 1 for patient id 2 for state field 10 for doctor id and for duration i'll give 25 and for name field i'll keep the same True itself so let's see what happens after adding this value so i have changed tracking equal to one that is tracking equal to one tracking equal to two ten and twenty five so let's restart and let's upgrade the module and see what happens so i'll go to the ui and i'll upgrade om hospital module so you can see the module is getting upgraded And if you come back to the appointments, so I'll open the same appointment that is OP0061 and I'll edit the patient. So I'll change the patient to papaya and doctor to mark demo, booking date to May 2 and duration to 2. And if I click on save and if you check the log, you can see the patient ID is coming at the first position you can see patient id is coming at the first position because here we have given tracking equal to one which is the lowest tracking for now so here tracking equal to one so patient id is coming at the first position followed by doctor so if you check for doctor 
have given the tracking as 10 which is greater than 1 then if you check what is coming duration so for duration we have given 25 and finally booking date is coming at the last position so if you check the booking date so where is booking date so here you can see for booking date we haven't given any value we just add tracking equal to true so by default odoo sets if you give tracking equal to true odoo is setting the value as 100 so by default if you set tracking equal to true the default value will be 100 and just imagine a case where you have to show duration after booking date so what you have to do so booking date it's set as 100 and i need to get duration at the last position then you can give 110 or 101 like that value a value greater than 100 so here i have set for duration it has to be 110 i have set so let's restart and upgrade the module and see the difference so i'll go to the apps menu and i'll upgrade om hospital module so you can see the module is getting upgraded and if i come back to the appointments and i'll open the same appointment that is op0061 and here you can see booking date currently is coming at the last position and let me again trigger the tracking values so i'll change the papaya to mango booking date to may 10 duration 1 so i have changed the values and if i click on save and if you check the log you can see duration is coming at the last position so initially booking date was coming at the last position but right now duration is coming after the booking date because we have given duration the value as 110 so what you have to understand is by default the value will be 100 so if you go to settings technical and if you scroll down you can see a models menu and if you search for appointment here and if you open hospital dot appointment click on edit button so here we have our fields like booking date so click on that and here you can see you have got enable ordered tracking so we are setting value to this field and here you can see for booking date Odoo is setting the value as 100 so once you set tracking equal to true the value will be 100 and if you check for the duration so here we have the duration field and its value is 110 so the order of tracked values will be in the incrementing order of tracking value so i hope you understood this video if you have any doubts feedbacks or suggestions don't hesitate to share with us over the email that is orumates at gmail.com and feel free to connect us in social medias like linkedin facebook twitter instagram and github so that's it for the day have a nice day thank you